Hello, and welcome to AIEM's Introduction to Microsoft Project 2003 video sessions. This is the eighth video in the series and introduces tracking and variants. We have a full work breakdown structure, a schedule, and a critical path for our project, Create New Cellular Phone. Imagine that the project is now underway and the work has proceeded on several tasks. You will want to record this activity in your Gantt chart. This will enable you to analyze and publish progress. It is not uncommon for project managers to record percentage complete in the task information pop-up window and to modify duration and start and end dates to reflect what actually happened. This is a very serious mistake. By doing this, you will lose the ability to assess variance. Variance is the comparison of where I am in the project versus where I thought or said I would be. Being able to publish variance is critical to good project management. Before you record any progress or tracking information, you must baseline your schedule. This simply means take a copy of the schedule and set it aside for comparison later on. To do this, Main Menu, Tools, Tracking, Save a Baseline, OK. You can save many baselines in a project, and it's not uncommon to do this at the end of each phase. Remember, however, to always keep earlier versions of the baseline. Microsoft Project provides a method to properly record activity. To do this, from the main menu, View, Table, Tracking. Columns are presented to show actual start, actual finish, percentage complete, and actual duration. Task Interview Target Audience was scheduled to, to start on January 6th and complete on January 15th. Suppose it did not start until January 13th. We can record the actual start date in the actual start date field. I'll mark the task as 100% complete. But instead of taking 8 days to complete, it took 12, and I'll record the 12 days that it took in the actual duration column. I've gone ahead and recorded other activity on the project. All of the tasks in the specification phase have completed, and I've marked the actual durations. Several tasks took longer than estimated, and one took less time. A black bar in the task on the timeline view, going all the way across the task, shows that the task is 100% complete. For Design Network Interface, the task is 50% complete, and you can see that the black bar in the task only goes halfway across. I notice right away that I've spent 15.75 actual days on the project, and I have 20.25 days remaining. Combined, this equals 36 days. Compared to my original duration of 28 days, I know right away that I am 8 days over. Microsoft Project provides a view to see exactly how activity has varied from our estimates. To do this, Main Menu, View, Table, Variance. We will now be able to see the difference between our estimates and where we actually are in the project. We can see that Interview Target Audience finished nine days later than expected. Get sign off finished 13 days later than expected. We can see so far that the total variance on the project is 13 days. These variances along with the remaining tasks can be analyzed and discussed with project members and sponsors from a credible perspective given the diligence that has been applied to this tracking effort. This ends Introduction to Microsoft Project 2003 Tracking and Variance. This also is the last video in the series. We thank you very much for viewing the videos and hope that they were helpful. If you have any questions or would like to suggest additional topics, please feel free to contact AIEM, Project Management Services.